Hello everybody. This is Brenda. Hope you are having a wonderful, beautiful day. Doing some crafting, I hope. Um, I'd like to give a shout out, if I may, to Sherry, Carol, and Carol K. Thank you so much for your um, comments and for visiting my channel. Um, so, last night, actually last night and this morning, I was viewing some um, videos and I saw Lori, Girl on the Ridge, and she was making these fun little, um, what did she call them? I can't even remember what she called them now, but anyway. <laughs> this flips up, this flips down. There's a little pocket here with some ephemera. And uh, two little uh, things here to cl for closure. And what she, um, well, what I was going to do is... Uh, uh, you can either have a pocket on the back or to glue this right down. I didn't uh, do the back because I would probably glue it right down on uh, on the page. Goodness gracious, I need more coffee, I think. <laughs> so I made two of these and I thought I would make um, one with you guys. And then Patricia Veramontes, she was on. Uh, and she was making just uh, a little folio out of another envelope. So these are all envelopes, the like business size envelopes. Let's see if I can grab one here. These here, that's all the, that's all they are. So, and I had a, a bunch of them. So I thought these were so cute. A little pocket here I put. I left this for some writing space. A little belly band here with a little uh, card insert. Looks like my uh, my uh, glue decided to stick to my card. And then this is the front and this is the back. How cute. Now also you could uh, cut right across the top here and have pockets at, at the top also. I didn't do that. I think it's cute just like it is and I just tied it with some muslin. So I thought I would make a couple of these, um, or one of each anyway, with y'all today. So I'm gonna set these aside. Um, So regular size, or I should say business size envelope, and this one measures nine and a half by four and a quarter. First thing I do is glue the flap down. Got my glue stick here. So there we go. Glue that down and then fold, uh, Probably, let's see, what have I got here? Probably about help if I have it the right way. To about two and a half inches up. Hold about two and a half inches upwards, like this. And then I ink. Actually, first I think I'll cut. So what you want to do is cut right along here and I'm probably not on camera for the cutting process but I'll show you what I cut off little sliver from the top to open up the top and then we also want to open up the bottom just a little sliver okay and then what I did was cut a little hole, a little thumb hole, but I didn't cut both. I only cut the front part. Just a little thumb hole in the front, just like that. 
Now we can ink. I will ink everything. Hope you guys are all having having a great day. I'm so sad my son came to visit from North Carolina and he's gone already. The week just flew right on by. As it does when you're trying to have a good time. And my granddaughter is in North Carolina at Ocracoke. So she's having fun and I'm here all by myself. My husband is gone to the Cleveland Clinic to um, have some testing done. He's having a stress test today. So I am trying to entertain myself. Okay, so what we need to do now is grab a piece of cardstock or paper, whatever you want to use, and we need to put it right at the top of the uh, fold here and bend it right over because, and I will show you in a minute, in a minute, because this is going to, of course, flip up like that. I don't know why I can't, I cannot fold these straight. Where's my bone folder? Get my bone folder going. Okay. So that wants to go right here. And then of course the other side we can cut down because it is going to tuck right in to the envelope. So what we're going to do is glue this right here and tuck it right in here, right up to the fold line. And that will be our flap. Try to get it as even as you can, see? So that will be our top flap. So I'm going to get my art glitter glue and glue this part down. So anyway, yeah, I was saying I'm home alone with lots of time on my hands. You want to get this right in there and don't, uh, don't put down until you have it right where you want it, but make sure it folds down. Got it a little bit over, but I don't think it's gonna move now because you know how that art glitter glue is. So that's your flap down, okay? And of course that's glued right in there now. And then what we want to do is I took, I take this piece that's already um, measured and go right about there. And we want to fold this over on this side and burnish down because this is going to be our bottom flap like this. And since I have two-sided paper, I can use um, both sides, but I am gonna cut this down. Now, like I said before, you can use this on the back cut it down for a pocket, or you can just, um, if you're planning on gluing the whole thing down, don't worry about it. I'm going to shorten this. Down. And 
what I've been doing, look, my, my cutter is horrible. What I've been doing is um, just gluing the sides. I'm Just in case I want, I changed my mind and want to turn it into a pocket, I've just been gluing the sides and then later on you can glue it down all the way or whatever you, you know, whatever you decide to do. So, right in this time, I am going to glue it glue it right down. And that looks good right there. Okay, whoa, sorry, it is warm up here today, very warm. Okay, so I have my top flap and my bottom flap. And what I've been doing here is just adding a piece of, if I can find any, that's not gonna work. piece of coffee dyed paper. Excuse me just a minute while I grab some paper. I thought I might have some right here, but I guess I don't. So sorry about that. I'm back. Hope you had a nice conversation while I was gone. So what I've been doing here is just placing a piece of coffee dyed paper so you can do some journaling. And I just cut right along the side there and try to fit it, eyeball it to fit it that way. And like that and I guess it doesn't matter how far down it goes and I'm going to cut the little piece off at the bottom so this will go right here for some journaling space Either side's good, I guess. So I am glue sticking that down for some nice journaling space. If I can get it as straight as possible. Okay. Oh, my arm. All righty. Then we can go ahead and glue this pocket down, just a little glue on each side because we have our journaling space there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Okay. And then I took a pretty piece of paper from um, Artie Mays. I think this was free from Artie Mays. Andrea, I should say. I'm just going to cut right across there. Let's see if I can see where my line is. Okay, and then I am going to ink and place down right 
right here. Okay, and then I am going to cover my glue stick, cover my ink, and grab my hole punch and going to just even this out where I had the hole punch before. It's probably better just to wait and punch your hole afterwards. But um, I had already punched it, so I'm going to re-punch it. Okay, and then I'm going to glue. Glue. Does this look like glue to you? I am going to ink. Okay, I'm going to ink around. It's a little white, so turn that a little bit brown as well. So we have we have our pocket on the inside. We have um, our bottom flap and our top flap. And the next thing we need to do is make some little closure pieces and what I did was I have this little teeny hole punch and I just punched out four of these little round circles because I am going to glue two together just to make it a little you know a little more sturdy so there's one and here's two okay I'm gonna set those aside to dry and we are going to punch some holes um, hole punch there it is now all I do is measure and it is four inches so I come down just a little bit and make my little mark right in the middle so right about there I want one and then at the top measure again and right about here mark my little holes where I want to put my holes grab my punch book and I'm going to punch my little hole right in my right on my mark here and punch my other hole right on my mark so I have my two holes then I want to take my little my little round pieces here and I put these together and punch the hole through both. Eyeball the middle and then punch. Okay. Stick apart. There we go. Now, set that aside. I want to get some brads out and I think for here I want to use just the regular just the regular little um, brass ones so I'm oops oops oop, don't want to lose it I'm gonna take this here and put it right in here. Close up your brad, or I should say open up your brad. This is where I always have a little bit of a problem getting them to open. Okay, so there's that one. 
and we're going to do this one. Sorry, getting it up here so I can see. Okay, so we have our little closures in. The next step is to grab some string, and I just have regular old string here, and I'm going to tie it around the top one. I usually put a knot. Okay, and then I'm going to string it a couple of times around the bottom one, string it around so we have some string for our closure. Okay, and then just cut it. And then the one that I tied off, I cut right down. So there you have our little closure. Okay. Very simple. Very, very fun and simple. And I think I told you, I can't remember where Lori said she saw this from, but if I remember, I will um, put it down below in the comment box, description box, I'm sorry. I want to get my glue cover on. Okay, so um, I think this is all set in here. I just want to put something right down here for a little decoration. I don't know what that would be. Maybe a little tag or something. Um, looking, looking. See, I have some of these. Something like that would probably go good right there. We want create, thankful, beautiful, abide. I'm not. Re I'm not remembering where I like the thankful one. I'm not remembering where I got these from either. I need to. Um, start uh, writing down and putting little notes with all my stuff so I know where I'm getting these from. And I want just a little snip off the side here. I can find my scissors. Okay, I just want to snip that off right there. Around the corners a little bit. I think I want something behind it, too. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see. That might be a little too much. Maybe a little bit of torn. Coffee dyed paper. Yep, I'm liking that. Just going to ink this up. Oops. Okay, glue this down. Want it right in the middle. Glue this down. Right in the middle. OK. 
Okay, I like that. Alrighty, and up here, I don't know if I want anything up there. I kind of like it the way it is. I think I'll go ahead and leave that like it is. So, around and around. So, there you have it. An envelope, regular envelope, turned into a little flip, flippy thing. I like it. Okay, for the next thing, what I did was take move this out of the way here, put this up here, clean up some of my mess so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, for the next thing, Thing, what you do is take a business size envelope, fold it in thirds so you have a little folio here, and then all you need to do is decorate. And that's um, what I did here for this one. Okay, so we find something that we want for the front and I've got these all cut out at um, this one's pretty all cut out to size so I like that there and um, I, I sell these uh, ink daubers in my shop if anyone is interested um, my husband who um, I think I've mentioned that he is legally blind. Uh, he is a uh, Marine Corps veteran, disabled veteran, and he went to uh, the Georgia, down in Georgia, the Blind Center, and learned how to use uh, wood turning tools. And he made this for me. And, um, he said he would gladly make some for, make one for anyone who would be interested in having one. I know there's others uh, others that sell. I think sell them online. I'm not sure for how much, but um, it gives him something to do, and he really likes to make something for someone who is you know appreciative of him making it so anytime you would want one made they're listed in my shop and thank you for supporting a, a veteran so there is our front like that very much um, let's do the back and I think for the back I think I will have this. Oh, sorry, so warm up here today. So warm, but I'm not complaining because we have had nothing but rain, it seems like, for just making sure I am right side up. We've had nothing but rain for, it seems like, a week and I'm not complaining about the rain either because we always need the rain so the back the front the back and now let's do the inside and let's see I think I will make the inside so I'm, this one's pretty so I'm gonna put this one right here and then on the other two, I like to have a uh, space for writing, for journaling on the inside. So I put sort of a plain, a plain colored one. Or try to stay plain as possible on the inside. 
So I will put this one. Ooh, this side's nice too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this side down because you can definitely write on that side. I'm going to place this right here. And this one next to it. Oop. Right in the middle. Okay. And it looks like I came up short, so I need to just cut one more piece. trim a little bit more off and that's going to go right right along well it's going to go on the last one there if I can get it if I can get it cut right there we go so that's going to go right there Sorry, I am inking. So used to putting things right up to me to work on that when I'm uh, when I'm videotaping, I keep forgetting to stay in your eyesight. So let's put this one right here. Okay. How simple is that? There's some writing space, there's the back, or the inside, there's the back, and there is the front. How sweet, I just love these. Thank you, Patricia. Now, for the front, let's see, here I put a little, little darling little angel. I don't know if I have Another one that might go there. No, it's the same one. So I'm gonna have to put something else on this time. So let's see what would fit there. Maybe a butterfly in the corner. Let's see what we have. Got this little guy. I think I will put him right there. He looks nice. Ink him up a little. Maybe put a little bit of this behind him. A bit of cheesecloth first. Okay. And then we're going to glue this little guy down. on top. Here's a little antenna. I think they're antenna. 
<laughs> That's what I call them anyway. Okay, I like that. I like that very much. And I do want to um, maybe put a little bling on him. Right in the middle. If I can get it off my finger, okay. And maybe just a little something in the corner. Just a little, maybe a pink little number. Okay, get this inked up. And glued down. I think I want that right over here in this little corner. I like that. See? Very nice. Get rid of these and then what I did on this one was put a little pocket in the middle one. So we want something to make a little pocket right here. And this looks like this would be okay. <sighs> this one's got a white flower. Maybe we'll use a little bit of white. Cut it down a little bit. a little mark, a little thumb hole, ink, glue, and we have our little pocket. Very cute. There we go. There's our little pocket. And then on this side, what I did was make a little belly band. I have this ribbon here. And I will cut off a piece. To glue right here. All right, let's see if we can get this close to the middle as we can. Hold that down for just a second. Another second. <laughs> Looks like the art glitter glue, um, I probably should have used Fabri-Tac Fabri glue because this is a little stubborn holding down with um, uh, the, I guess the burlap has a little problem holding down with the burlap. 
And I put a little, sorry, I was bending over, trying to find my little flowers. I put a little flower right in the middle. Eyeballing the middle. Okay, and I'm just going to trim this bottom one off a little bit. Okay, and then I think I put a little bit of a bling right there. Right in the middle of my little flower. And there is our belly band. These are so adorably cute. There you go. That's um, that's a little trifold from that I saw from Patricia Veramonte. And these are the flip up, flip downs from that I saw from Lori, Girl on the Ridge. So there you have it. These are so fun, so adorable. And um, if you have any questions, don't, don't hesitate. Comment below. Um, gladly answer any questions you have. That is it for me today. I am exhausted and a little bit hungry. Oh, this is the one, I'm sorry, this is the one we made. This is the one we made today. So, there you have it. Lovely. So, you guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you had um, fun and joined along crafting. I uh, hope to see you again soon. This was fun. Comment anything below if you have a question. And you guys have a wonderful crafting day. Bye-bye.